Hi guys, welcome to my channel, the I am a super user, and my name is Noriel. And for today's video, I will show you how you can easily manage your network bandwidth by limiting your user's download and upload speed using PFSense. So as you can see here in my dashboard, I'm having a 1 to 2 Mbps download speed. And you can see it here also in the traffic graph. I'm having 1.79 Mbps. That's my download speed, 1 to 2 Mbps download speed. So our target right now is to limit this computer with that IP, 192.168.1.200. Let's limit the download and upload speed of that user, of that computer. So right now, I'm, I'm actually downloading the Dota 2 update. Okay, so to do that, you, let's go to Firewall and Traffic Shaper. And uh, let's uh, create the uh, limiter here. So click on the limiter tab and click on limiter, our uh, new limiter. Okay, you should enable. Check the enable limiter and its children. Give your limiter a name. Enter the bandwidth uh, bandwidth uh, value. And in the mask, uh, you should select destination address. And you can uh, also put some description. And that's it. Click save. Apply changes. And let's make another one for our upload speed. So for the upload speed, I want uh, maybe 100 kbps. So you enter the name, you enter the value. <coughs> okay, so in the mask, you should select uh, source address and enter some description. Click save, apply changes, and that's it. The next thing we need to do is go to rules, and in the land tab, we have to create or add a new rule. So the interface should be LAN and uh, protocol. I just select TCP, UDP, and this is the important part, the source address. So you should know the source or the address, IP address of your target computer. So our target computer right now is my computer, the 192.168.1.200 IP. Then in extra options, just uh, enable the log packets and uh, put some description. Click on display advance and scroll down at the bottom in out pipe just select the limiters that we just created first the download speed and then the upload speed and click save and apply changes and that's it <coughs> okay so right now let's uh, check okay so let me resume the Dota 2 update Okay, so as you can see earlier, we have a 1 to 2 Mbps download speed. So right now that we created a limiter, it should not go up higher than 250 Kbps download speed. So as you can see there, yeah, it's going up to 295 yeah, because it's not that perfect, okay, but at least... Uh, it should not go higher than that okay so let's check again yes it's uh, 250 uh, kbps download speed okay so earlier we have two mbps download speed and but right now we barely go higher than 250 kbps <coughs> okay so what if you want to uh, limit uh, several computers or group of computers so uh, the ideal thing to do is to create an alias so 
let's create an alias here so our alias should contain the IP addresses of our target computers so you, you just enter the IPs here so just remember that the IPs that you enter here on this, on this uh, alias are the IPs of the target computers that you want to limit the download and upload speed <coughs> let me edit that one click save apply changes and let's go back to our rules <coughs> then uh, let's edit the uh, rule that we just created we need to edit the uh, yeah uh, the source we just entered uh, one single IP so since we are targeting several uh, IPs or computers that's why we uh, created the alias so as you can see our alias here contains the IP list of our target computers so you just select here the alias name enter the alias name and click save apply changes and right now all of those uh, IPs on that list will be affected of our limiter they should be limited to 250 kbps download and 100 kbps upload so as you can see here I'm still limited to 200 kbps download speed that is because here in our alias I have my IP listed here that's why I'm still uh, it's limited okay let's try to delete my IP and click save and apply changes so now that my IP is deleted on that list I should be able to download to download again to 2 Mbps so as you can see it's going higher from 200 to 700 and it's going higher 1 Mbps right now <coughs> and it's going back to 2 Mbps download speed again okay so from 250 kbps to 2 mbps again because I deleted my IP here so just for the sake of the test uh, let's add my IP again here so let's add 192.168.1.200 again and save and apply changes and my download speed should go down again right now any moment right now wait for it there you go going down to 300 kbps 400 as you can see in the graph also it's going down to 50 100 and yeah 200 so it goes back to 200 kbps because I added my IP so that's how you uh, manage your network bandwidth by limiting your users download and upload speed using PFSense. Thank you guys for watching. See you in my next video.